Hi everyone, Nico from Secure Corner here and today I want to show you how to set up a TOSIBOX lock. In my case I'm using a lock 150 but you can use whatever lock you want. And the only thing that you should note is that this is only the setup for the locks because for the nodes this does work a little bit differently because the nodes don't have a USB port to remote match a key to the TOSIBOX. So you have to remote match this, but we will be showing you this in another video. So first of all, plug in the power, and after that, your local connection via an Ethernet cable into the WAN port. This can come from your router or your switch, and you can also use an USB modem. But if you do that, you obviously don't have a slot for the USB key to match it. So I would advise you to firstly match a key and after that plug in the USB modem. So just take your key, plug it into the Tosi box lock and wait for roughly 10 seconds. It should start blinking and once it's done you can plug in or pull out the key but we have been noticing that it doesn't always blink. Sometimes uh, uh, it keeps blinking even though the matching process is finished so just wait like half a minute or a minute to be safe plug it out and plug it into your USB port on your computer doesn't matter which one and after you plug it in there on your computer the TOSIBOX software should automatically start and if you don't have another lock connected to this key then you should automatically connect to this lock. After it's connected, you can then double click on the MAC address to open the web UI of the TOSI box. And from here, we can do the basic configuration. So first of all, you want to go to login. and then type in the password that is located on the back side of the lock. Also, you can type this somewhere else and then copy it because we will be needing this in a little bit here after it has loaded. There we go. And under old password for admin, you can also paste it in here or like me, just write it down because I haven't actually copied it. Then type in any new password and Make sure that you actually write that down somewhere. Really do remember this password because it is a little bit difficult to actually reset this and you can't actually reset this yourself in most cases. So after that, you can see that we have connection, we are uh, logged in to the Tosi box and usually you would be seeing this screen if this is the first time using this Tosi box and you would have to accept something here but in my case this lock has already been used and just been reset so that's why it doesn't show me that now we are currently connected via the wan port but maybe you want to be connected via wi-fi which you can do if you click on vlan then click on edit and then enable the wireless network here. You can change this here, but I would just leave it like it is. And after that, you can change the mode from access point to client mode. So basically, you're connecting your TOSI box to a Wi-Fi network to get connection. You can see the name of my Wi-Fi connection here. So this Fritzbox 7590NF. You would write that down. In your case, obviously type down your internet connection's name. Then choose your encryption protocol and type in the key, the password of your Wi-Fi connection. Click on save. And after that, you should be connected to the Wi-Fi. But if we head up to the status page, we can see that we are still connected to the WAN port. The reason is that we will be using the WAN port as a priority. So if we come up to network and then go to WAN priority, 
we can change which network it will use, or which interface it will use priority. So in my case, I'm gonna do VLAN client first and then WAN port. So if the Tozy box has a Wi-Fi connection, it will use this first, even though it also has a WAN connection. If you add up to status, we can see it still says WAN port, but this does take a little bit. So let's go to network and then VLAN to check if we actually have connection. And okay, our connection was interrupted, probably gonna change right now. We can see we do have connection here and there it is. So we connected with the VLAN client just like we wanted. That's basically how you do the basic setup. So I hope this has helped and I'll see you in the next video.